It's become clear that patients with mesothelioma are different genetically. We call this inter-patient heterogeneity. Now, this difference may underscore the reasons for why patients don't often benefit from new drugs. So the question we have to ask is, can we use genetics now to enrich patients who are likely to benefit? The MIST trial is one of the first of its kind, actually, where we're looking to genetically select patients uh, with mesothelioma based on some very common uh, genetic alterations, mutations, and then assign treatments uh, according to that genetic profile. We're about to get this trial underway hopefully next week uh, in Leicester. Uh, we have four arms and it's the national study that we'll be recruiting to uh, uh, centres both in the south of England and also in the north. The first arm that's opening actually next week will be focusing on a really common mutation, actually the most common in mesothelioma, uh, which is the BAP1 uh, mutation. Now BAP1 is a gene which regulates DNA repair. Uh, we know that this is coupled to another very important gene called BRCA1. An expression of BRCA1 uh, decreases or is lost uh, in the presence of this mutation, or at least some of the BAP1 mutations. So we're selecting patients with these alterations uh, on the assumption that they'll be more susceptible to the DNA damage induced by a PARP inhibitor, and patients will receive rucaparib as a single agent uh, orally bioavailable drug.